Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is the weekly foresight, energy foresight for August 16th through the 22nd. Oh my goodness, we're getting in the last little bits of August. I can't believe it. This month just flew by. All right, so this month I have been taking cards from the Gaian Tarot, and it's by Joanna Powell Cobert, who's a local artist and creative, and she's just fabulous. I love these cards. They're so deep. And this week's card is the Ten of Water, and all of August has been so and down just like a roller coaster with the fire and the creative and then in the water and the emotions and then the fire and creative and the water and emotions now these last two weeks it is all in that water energy the emotions and this again is ten of water and the card that came through or the message that came through this card was emotions play an important role in whether there are blocks in progress, currents to flow with, or so many waves that it's hard to get our bearings straight. Where are you in your life cycle, your life purpose, your soul's journey? Take a moment to reflect on your life and where you are intending to be in three months, six months, or even a year from now. So that energy this week is really, it's not a huge emotional weight, but what it is, is it's allowing us to dive into our emotions. Where do we feel we are in the journey of our soul or the life purpose that we had created or were maybe we were intending to create that life purpose or that dream, that goal or wish or desire. Where are you on that process? Sometimes we're stuck. And right now with 2020 being the, what it is, <laughs> a lot of us have been shifting and changing and renewing and reevaluating and we've created this new us, this new version of us. And the world has doing, been doing the same thing with itself. So there's that new world and us as being a new self. And so with that, our life purpose may have shifted and changed a little bit. Our soul's journey may feel a little different. It may feel like we have went 360 degrees around or maybe just 180 or maybe just a little less than that. Anywhere on that spectrum, it could be a complete and total change or it can be just a tiny one. But even a tiny change can bring up emotions. It can bring up feelings of doubt, of being scared, of not trusting. And so what we're needing to do is really take a moment to envision what our new thoughts are on our purpose, on our journey. And that way we can create what it is that we truly desire. So when we do that, when we go within again with our emotions, we may find some bits and pieces that we need to let go. We may find ancestral patterns or we may find thoughts that we were told when we were younger that need to just kind of be let go of. Or maybe it's a career or job or a relationship that is needing to be let go because you're on a different path now. That's okay. It's just like seasons. We need to change and shift and just really Grasp that with all that you can, because this is for your highest and best good, and we need to trust that process. So for midweek, and that is the 16th through the 19th, let's see, yes, so the 16th through the 19th, the card that came through was spring, and it says, see your seeds grow. So just know that 
the seeds that have been planted throughout 2020 that you have planted, maybe it's some old projects or some old thought of something that you may have wanted to do. Just note they're growing. And now we're coming up to a time when it's about to be the time to reap your rewards. See your seeds growing. Put the energy out into that as maybe in six months to a year from now, or maybe less or maybe more, this is the seeds that you intend to harvest. This is how you intend for something to be made manifest, no matter what that is. Just know right now, in this first part especially, you may have already got that crystal clear idea of what it is that you want to make manifest. And now we're seeing the seeds grow so that you can harvest it very soon. I love that. And the second card, for end week, so the 19th through the 22nd, will be Druid Hold Space. Now, I would have flip-flopped those had I gone through and picked them myself, but there's a reason for the cards coming the way that they do. So holding space, to me, that almost is saying, now that you know that your seeds are growing, that you've planted, now that you know that your goals, dreams, wishes, and desires, your life purpose, your soul's journey is growing, now we need to have the space in order to send it good energy. We need to hold the space. And if we see during the time of holding space that there are some things, there are old things that we need to let go of, we have the ability to just let them go because we're holding space for this beautiful new energy to be made manifest. And when we shower that, those beautiful seeds with the beautiful sunlight, that joy and happiness, and that nourishing rain and water, then our dreams are going to be made manifest in such a crystal clear fashion from just holding the space of that thought that we're going to be able to see it. And we're going to know that that is what we intended. And we're going to be able to reap the rewards a lot easier. We're going to be able to harvest that which what we put out there much easier. It's not going to be difficult. You're going to find you're going to flow into it so easily and effortlessly that it's going to feel like it's meant for you because it is. <laughs> so just know that this week is all about that emotions, but we have help always from our spirit team, whether that is your angels, your ancestors, or whoever it is that you want to call on for help. Just know that you're never alone. You're always, you always have the ability to tap into the energies that you need. And you can receive guidance from anyone and everyone that you call upon. And just to let you know, August 24th through 27th, so that's next week, Monday through Thursday, we're having the Enable the Empath Project. I'm not using the word challenge because we've had enough challenges <laughs> this year, but a project. It's a project that we can work on together to enable the empath in you. And if you're if you don't feel like you're an empath, that's fine. But I feel like there's a lot of people that are tapping into that empath. That is one thing that we I think have felt this year is that empathic quality when we get next to people, especially when we've been quarantined for so long, when we start working with other people, whether that's just going to the grocery store or going to the dentist or wherever, having to work with people again, you can really feel, if you're an empath, you're gonna really be able to feel and maybe even be bombarded with other people's feelings, their thoughts, their energy. And so next week, I wanna really work on just empowering you to be able to stand in your power and know when it is that you are experiencing your feelings or when you're experiencing somebody else's 
and how you can work with it so that you can be free to go grocery shopping, to go to the dentist, or even just talk with friends and family again and be in your space without being overwhelmed. So that is next week. That is August 24th through the 27th. And that is Enable the Empath. So I look forward to seeing you next week. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.